the nomination list is wide open after DA Federal Chair James South declined the position of acting parliamentary leader. Zilla vehemently denies she'll endorse any candidate for the position after Musi Maimane was touted for it. But she says she'll be keeping a close eye on whomever is elected. And after a year, I will assess the situation, and if needs be, I will go back to Parliament. Some analysts believe the official opposition will take a knock without a strong and credible voice as parliamentary leader. What it may do is it may open the space inside of Parliament for the new voices and the new players who've come on the scene, like the EFF, to capture that space. The DA's 89-member caucus will vote on its leader next Thursday. Meanwhile, the National Assembly and the National Council of Provinces are ready to welcome the 400 new members who will make up the fifth parliament. New MPs will be sworn in by the Chief Justice on Wednesday morning. The National Assembly will then elect a new Speaker and Deputy Speaker, followed by the election of the President. If there is no contestation for the position, the Chief Justice declares the President duly elected. If there is contestation, the, the suspension of proceedings for the printing of ballot papers, prepare ballot papers, we reconvene, we conduct the election for the president. The 54 permanent delegates of the NCOP will be sworn in on Thursday. The secretary of the National Assembly was firm. No party colors or insignia will be allowed in the House. He says the speaker could ask any offenders to excuse themselves. Lukaino Kalada, SABC News, Parliament.